everyone and welcome back to my channel. Bit of a weird time for me to be picking up the camera. It is about 4pm on a Tuesday. So I've been working all day today but I have an ASOS parcel that has been at my front door for about five days now and I have been waiting to open it with you guys. I can't really be bothered to try them all on so it's just going to be a bit of a vlog style video and then a little bit of an extra with an ASOS haul. I have just done a hot water bottle because it is time of the month trick. Get a tiny hot water bottle, get some stretchy leggings. So this is how I'll be doing the haul today. Um, yeah, let me go get my parcel. Some of these pieces were heavily influenced by people on Instagram and TikTok. So shout out to those girls who have influenced me to purchase these things from ASOS but I will leave everything linked down below. It's been next to my front door for so long I don't actually remember what I have ordered. Okay it's all coming back to me now. So I saw this satin skirt all over TikTok and figured it was only right I got one for myself and it's just in a lovely berry colour. It is from Topshop and I miss Topshop. We haven't got a Topshop no, Topshop's not even a shop anymore, is it? It's just on ASOS. I miss going into Topshop. I used to love Topshop. But now we get it on ASOS, so it's just a lovely berry coloured satin skirt. And I got it in a size 6, so at the minute, being bloated, that's probably not going to fit, to be quite honest. But, yeah, it's a really nice colour, actually. It's kind of more pinky than I thought it was going to be. It looks a bit more, like, ready online. But we have that as the first item. I think Margot has just jumped off the bed upstairs. She might make an appearance in a minute. Oh yeah, cute. I have my friend's baby shower in a few weeks and baby showers are hard to know how to dress. So this is what I have got for her baby shower and it's just a knitted, ooh, feels quite itchy, um, knitted maxi dress. What is that? And it's just, like this and obviously it goes all the way down to the floor so i hope it's not too long for me oh no that'll that's fine just for height reference i'm about five three well i always am five four but i think i'm more five three to be honest like almost touching the floor for me but it does feel a little bit itchy so i don't know how we're going to find this i also hope it's not too low oh no it doesn't look too low yeah, I just thought that would be cute and it's a nice transitional piece to be able to wear, like I can wear t-shirts and stuff under this or it'd be nice to pop like a blazer over it and it's actually very thick so we'll be keeping me warm. And then I got a brown cord because when it comes to winter all I ever wear is black and I don't want to be that person anymore, I don't want to wear black, I want to wear brown. This feels really itchy. What is with all these? So it is a skirt and a jumper cord, and this is obviously the skirt. Very long. For it is now touching the floor and it's up to my near boobs. So I don't know, maybe I can roll it over. Okay, that would work. But it's just in a really nice sort of chocolate brown, virgin on black colour to be quite honest. But yeah, it does feel a little bit itchy. Maybe I can put a long sleeve t-shirt under it if I like it. If you do want to see me styling any of these pieces, then definitely make sure you follow me over on Instagram or TikTok where I post all of my like fashion content. If I keep any of these, you will see because I will have posted a picture on them. I also have gone to town with this tissue paper. And then this is the jumper. I didn't actually tell you what size I got on this skirt, did I? It is a, oh, it's ASOS Design. No, it's not. ASOS Edition. Um, I got this in an extra small. And then I got the jumper in a size small. So I upped a size in the jumper. And it's very big. This whole haul might be going to absolute shit. But we will see. But yeah, I just thought it would be cute. I saw it on the website. I've not seen anyone wear it or seen anyone wear it on TikTok or anything. So I don't know what it will actually look like on. But fingers crossed, it is 
nice the next item which is the last item that's why i didn't do a haul because there wasn't that much to actually show but i wanted to show you guys i want to share my purchases with you guys so much of this everywhere these boots were heavily influenced by the queen herself tara maynard and i feel like if you follow her she could be in a bin bag and it would make me want to buy it they're gorge wow oh i love these oh i hope they're cute on they are giving me like what is the brand that does them is it ganny i think ganny have some really similar cowboy boots is it ganny i don't know I'm sure these were like 60 pounds which is not expensive at all for a boot to be fair <gasps> wow look at these they look great with my leggings my left foot is bigger than my right foot i don't know if anyone else has that problem but i always try things on no my left is bigger than my right i don't know what i just said but my left foot is bigger than my right foot so i always try on my left foot first knowing that this foot is now going to be too big yeah just as i think What are our thoughts on my ASOS haul? I'm gonna have to try them all on and see what I actually think, but these are comfy, man. They're really nice, actually. They've got like a square heel at the back. Very much enjoying, but my slippers are now going back on because that is the mood that I'm in at the moment. Oh my God. Oh. Yeah, I thought I would just pick up the camera because one, I had an ASOS parcel, and two, I haven't picked you up in a little while, so I thought I would just bring you guys along on, I don't know how many days it's going to be, might be today and tomorrow, or it might just be, who knows, I don't know what this vlog's going to bring, but I just felt like I wanted to pick up the camera and have a chat with you guys. Um, and also, I'm in a bit of a situation at the moment where I don't know what content to film for you guys. That's why I've not been that active on YouTube. Like, what do you want to see from me? Do you like hauls? Do you like more sit down chatty videos? I always try and incorporate something into my vlogs. I don't like it to just be me talking the whole time. I feel like sometimes I'm not actually picking up the camera because I don't want to just create a video that no one really cares about. But do you like what do you want to see do you want to see me just live my life or do you want to see just let me know what you want to see because i don't know what you want to see and i don't know what i want to i don't want i don't know what i want to do does anyone ever feel like this when they're on their period i feel like it really messes with my brain sometimes but like i said it is later on in the day now i think that's the helicopter i was thinking who the hell is cutting their grass yeah, it's 20 to 5, so I just thought I'd pick you guys up. I'm just waiting for Matt to get home from work. I was going to go to the gym tonight, but this is a much better situation than going and working out, to be quite honest. I'm actually doing my sister's hair tomorrow. She's had all of her hair extensions taken out, and she is going to go all natural like me. And we're just going to colour it because she's not had it coloured, I think, since before she gave birth to Ezra and he will be one in March. So it has been a hot minute since the girl has had her hair colored. So that's all I've got for now. Oh, how cute is this? A brand on Instagram makes these cute little pumpkin pillows and I think her name is Tamsin. I could be wrong, let me find it because that's gonna be really annoying if I get that wrong. Tamsin May Jewelry and she messaged and asked if I would like one of these and I said absolutely look how cute they are and I've just had it on my little chair next to the other round pillow that I have and it's just making me feel very autumnal. I am very in the October spirit. We went and picked pumpkins at the weekend at Matt's nan and granddad's farm which was so cute we took the kids and Florence literally had the best time ever. Yeah I'm very much in my roast era 
I'm very happy that it's autumn. Like, thank God we've not got like 20 degrees anymore. I can be wearing coats. The list goes on. I'm gonna show you one more thing. I had popped to Primark because I was heavily influenced by TikTok. TikTok was telling me there was all of these amazing things in Primark, which there was. And there's one thing in particular that I bought and I am low-key obsessed with. It is a coat and I have not taken it off my body since we have had colder weather. I'm in love with it. It's the best thing ever. And yeah, I've got nothing else to say about it. It was from their like Primark edit and I never even knew they had a Primark edit. It was just everything in that section of Primark was like a little bit better quality. They had really nice like thick white t-shirts. They had nice jumpers and then this coat, they had tailored trousers. And this is actually a wool blend. So I was very, very chuffed when I saw this in Primark for 60 pounds, six zero pounds for a wool blend coat. I'm gonna leave this little segment of 16 minutes that I've just recorded here. And if you see me anymore today, then great. If not, I will pick you back up in the morning. Good morning, guys. I am um, just put my shoes on to go and do my sister's hair and I am running late as per. I always run late, but I feel like we got up at half six this morning. It's now 20 to nine. And when I run late, it's not like I don't do anything. So we've walked the dogs, I've had breakfast, I've put a wash on, it's now in the tumble dryer. I've had a shower, I've got ready, put makeup on. And I've watched half of Molly May's vlog, so it's not like when I'm running late, I've not done anything. I'm very productive with my time, but I just always underestimate the travel time. Me and my sister said that we'd meet at the salon for half eight, and well, to be fair, it's now 20 to nine, and I'm not even there, so I'm running late, but I'm now gonna go to the salon and do my sister's hair, so I will. I'm going to catch up with you in the car because I feel like I need a chat. The fact I have only got lip liner on, I know lip gloss is really giving me the ick. It's freezing. Well, my car says 13 degrees, but I beg to differ. My outfit is screaming. I'm on my period. I've put absolutely no... Oh, shit, the road is closed. Anyways. Um, yeah, I've put absolutely no thought into my outfit at all. I done a little um like question box on my instagram last night like what do you guys actually want to see from youtube and literally you all replied with stuff that i already do so that was i mean it's helpful because it's nice to know that you actually like the things that i'm posting uh but a lot of it was just like chatty vlogs or like day in the life or like gym workouts and stuff um so yeah i think i'm just going to continue doing what i was doing i think Sometimes you just need a bit of reassurance, which is nice. I think I'm just gonna try and start picking up the camera a little bit more often. So when I first started YouTube, I was actually uploading twice a week, which is crazy. I don't actually know how I possibly had the time to do that, but I think it was a bit of a novelty thing. Like I was very new to it. So I will catch up with you when you see my sister's horrendous hair. I'm in the salon and Megan has decided she doesn't wanna be on camera today because she's got no makeup on. <laughs> <laughs> but when she sits down she's just mixing up her colour we've just brushed out the mats in her hair from her hair extensions that she'd left in for so long oh yeah I will show you her hair from the back not from the front when she sits down she's mixing her colour up she's having a high balayage so this is Megan's before and she has absolutely no colour through this back bit where we've just been lifting up her hair extensions and it is sad on them ends. It is in dire need. Of really sad. Massive so we're gonna go for a chop. Yeah. Should we cut it before we colour it? Yes. Let's do this.
after. We have a very happy customer. We do. He's that gorgeous boy. Mm. This is hella crazy. Yeah, look at it. Oh. oh, everything's in your mouth. Hey, thank you. Hello everyone. I haven't actually caught up with you since being back home. But I have literally just blitzed the house and Matt is now home from work. And we have a meeting with our mortgage advisor. Does the house look tidy? It does actually. I was about to say to you, it looks really clean. Really clean. It's lovely. I deep cleaned. I was actually inspired by someone on YouTube. Oh, her name is Emma Hill, yeah, if anyone wants to watch her videos. Keep watching her, she's very aesthetically pleasing and yeah, she's very relaxing to watch. She's only about a 12 minute video I think, but thoroughly enjoyed, came home and decided to clean. Um, yeah, but we've got a meeting with our mortgage advisor now because unfortunately um, we are due to remortgage, which if anyone has a mortgage, you know, is a problem at the moment. Um, but it's just annoying having to pay more for a house that you're not getting anything extra for. Mm -hmm. I thought that was hair wax then. I thought you were putting that on your lips. No. What is it? Coconut. Coconut butter. Where did you get that from? My tattoo stuff. You put it on your lips? <laughs> oh yeah, it's coconut butter. Oh. Interesting. I've got some Burt's Bees. Oh, I've got Burt's Bees in oh. here. Hmm. You're talking about cleaning a house, so you showing me your door. I've actually cleaned that out as well. You've cleaned that? Yeah. It's an organised mess. Everyone, alone. everyone has a drawer like that. But I'm gonna leave this little vlog here. I don't know how long it's been, but obviously don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you guys really really soon in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye guys.